This video is about the Battalion Sawmill in New Guinea. These pictures are from my new book that is coming soon. This is the temporary mock-up of the front cover of my new book. It's called Dad's War Photos, Adventures in the South Pacific. It's based on the 800 pictures my father took in World War II. For more information and to be notified when the book is published, sign up at dadswarphotos.com. Facebook fans, like our page at facebook.com forward slash dadswarphotos for exclusive content. In order to build the needed structures for the war effort, lumber was required and in a hurry. A control tower for the aerodrome, as well as bridges over ravines and rivers, were just a few of the projects constructed that would keep the Pacific Campaign Offensive moving forward. The lumber for these projects was cut to order by the 863rd Engineer Aviation Battalion, Company C Sawmill. An officer and his men would go scouting for lumber in the jungle, select and mark the trees they needed to cut, and send teams of native New Guinea men to chop them down with axes. The sawmill arrived on February 22, 1944 by landing ship tank, otherwise known as LST, and was in operation on March 5th. During the five months they were in Sador, the sawmill produced 305,000 board feet of lumber for a variety of projects. Sometimes a platform had to be built around the tree for the men to stand on and cut. Here we see two native New Guinea laborers cutting a tree with axes. Because of the constant threat of attack from the Japanese soldiers roaming in the nearby jungle, an armed U.S. soldier had to stand guard at all times to protect the laborers and equipment. Here's my father with a machine gun. The natives are proudly holding their axes they use to cut down trees for the sawmill, and dad is standing guard holding a Thompson submachine gun. Once the trees were felled, the branches were cut off and the trees were transported by truck to the sawmill. The logs were unloaded from the truck on the left side of the picture there and then rolled under the shed. Under the shed, laborers are taking a break at this time. There is a sign right here that says Shrapnel Labor Company. After the lumber was cut to order, it was loaded onto another truck and delivered to the project site. Here you see the operator holding this handle of this uh, machine which causes the blade to spin or to stop spinning. Here you can see the blade is spinning. The whole platform here is moving in this direction because the blade is stationary and is causing that uh, piece of lumber to uh, be separated from the log. This worker here is holding on to this cut piece. Once it's cut, the logs the lumber is put into this truck here and we can see a pile of sawdust behind this guy. So they had a really efficient operation. This bridge was made from local trees that the sawmill cut into beams. And this is the Sador control tower and operations building. Here you can see the windsock and this is a uh, device to calculate wind speed and I'm sure you have a radio antenna around here somewhere so and this is the operations building where the uh, people would receive the radio transmissions all right well thanks for watching Kidding.